What's up guys, Rose Air Production here and today I'm going to be talking about travel tips and travel hacks as a music videographer. A lot of these will revolve around flying for the most part as last year I flew about 15 separate times to travel to shoot music videos. I've kind of picked up a lot of different things that have um, helped me save time and effort honestly when traveling so I want to share all of those tips and tricks with you guys. First tip I will say guys passports whether you're flying domestic or international even if you're flying domestic um, you're gonna need a piece of photo ID to get onto that plane so if you lose your wallet on set and that has your photo ID on it and you don't have a passport or a second photo ID with you I think there's gonna be some complications even flying domestically um, getting onto that plane. I always pack my passport just to have it. It's a fail safe. I tuck it into a hard drive case, leave that hard drive case at the Airbnb hotel or whatever house or space I'm staying at. I always take red eye flights. By that, I mean like the 6 a.m. flights so or like the 5.40 a.m. flights. So you gotta be at the airport an hour early if it's a domestic flight. In my washroom, I actually, the night before, I line up everything. I line up toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, floss, hair product, deodorant, cologne, like everything is like perfectly in line. So I can literally just freshen up in the morning within like six or seven minutes, like I'm good to go. So that also, also saves me a lot of time. I get some extra sleep in. Um, I just don't have to ever worry about getting ready in the mornings. Every time I fly, I check luggage. Now, most of you, I'm sure if you travel for music videos, you're also checking your luggage too. So I will always weigh my suitcase the night before. So step on your scale, weigh yourself, then step on the scale with the suitcase and subtract the two numbers up and you'll get the um you know whatever your suitcase is weighing so that's kind of how i do you can also get suitcase um wares as well but this is the suitcase that i travel with i'll leave a link in description on amazon so you guys can check it out as well um, it's a hard case i really like it i've had it for years i mean nothing's broken on me before basically what i'll do is i'll fit my clothes on one side and then equipment all on the other side one tip is for your chargers, for your camera equipment, whether it's a Ronin, your camera, external monitor, external lights, I take all of those chargers, not the batteries, the chargers, I put them into a Ziploc bag, toss the Ziploc bag into here. That saves a lot of room for your carry-on stuff. You can put that on one half of the suitcase or even on your clothes half. Um, I'm assuming most people won't leave for more than a week to shoot music videos out of, this, out of their own city. It keeps everything nice and organized too, then you're not just tossing things in your suitcase and everything's everywhere um, by the end of the flight and when you get your suitcase back. But the second thing too, why I like to pack um, with a big suitcase like this, is this will actually double up as a hard case or a pelican case for your equipment. When you're traveling from location to location, you can actually take all of your clothes out of here and you can just have your video equipment in here. And that has helped a lot when going from location to location because you're not just piling like lights and tripods and light stands into the trunk of a car and then you're going to location, you're, you're getting all the artists and like the extras to help you like carry everything out. Whereas you can just keep this or everything inside of a suitcase and it acts as a pelican case. So that is a great tip. That has really saved me a bunch of time. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is what I take for carry-on stuff. So first we will talk about my backpack that I carry. Now this is an awesome one. I have the Low Pro backpack. I'll leave a link description for this. Um, this is an amazing, amazing travel backpack. It has never let me down. It is amazing. So this is generally where I will keep, um, you know, passport, external battery charger for my iPhone. This whole pouch right here opens up and you have a bunch of little small um, compartments. So this is where I'll put camera bodies, lenses. Now, I'm not even kidding guys, in this space here alone, I can fit my external monitor, ND filters, and then one, two, three, four lenses, my Rode shotgun mic, and two camera bodies. So I can put my vlogging rig in here, my GH5, and I can also fit my Lumix S1, both with adapters on them. So that is a lot of stuff to just fit into this area and it fits perfectly, like nice and snug. It's amazing. You also have a really big pouch on um, the top here. So I actually have, I don't have it with me, but it's a hard drive holder. So I can hold about, I believe five external hard drives. So I actually put that up top of here and then I can also fit my um, noise canceling headphones at the very top here because I usually edit on my flights. So I like to have the noise canceling headphones with me. So those fit right here. It's a pretty 
tight fit, but it does close up. And then on the side here, you have a little slot pouch here for my laptop, so I can actually fit my laptop, my MacBook Pro. I believe it's a 14 or 15 inch MacBook Pro, and I can fit a uh, MacBook charger in there as well. So if you do need a little extra room for like smaller things, you can just shove them on the side here and everything will fit perfectly fine. The straps and everything are really good for if you are doing a lot of running gun or a lot of walking around type of shooting. Um, it's nice having this buckle on the side here, the tourist buckle, but is what I like to call it. But um, this is nice too, like the waist buckle, the straps and everything, like everything about this, like even the clips, everything about this is extremely extremely durable if you're doing a lot of running gun shooting i don't know how many of you guys shoot a lot of handheld stuff but i always carry a small rig cage around with me and what i'll do is i'll just wrap the small rig cage around one of these buckles tighten this up and look at that hangs right on the side here unclip this boom and i got it off just like that. That is always my one of my first go-to carry-on items. My second go-to carry-on item, if I'm shooting music videos and I require a gimbal for some of my shots, it is a Ronin case. There's been one incident where I was put on this like small propeller jet plane and this didn't fit anywhere, so they just checked it for free. And I've had this thing for like two years and it has been amazing. Like it comes with the foam and everything inside. It's meant for a Ronin M. It's like this is like, super hard like this thing you could throw around and everything like inside of it would be perfectly fine but highly recommend this thing this is a little bit of a travel hack for you videographers if you have a case similar to this or the exact same case it's going to come in super clutch as you can see here there's a ronin charger so i'm going to slip this into here and now i have some space on the top of here so i could either fit i could almost fit two ronin batteries in here almost what you could fit in there is maybe a Lumix S1 battery, a GH5 battery. You can just slip it in the slot there. You could probably actually fit two in there. Get a little creative if you're really trying to jam pack. Keep in mind too that you cannot put batteries inside of a luggage that's going anything that's going underneath the plane you cannot put batteries in there you can get a huge fine super unsafe so i believe it's live batteries but still like you just don't want to put any sort of battery inside of your luggage you want to keep it on carry on i actually cut out some of the styrofoam or the foam in here so these used to have like like lines going across to like perfectly fit my Ronin handles and whatnot, but I actually cut everything out. I just ripped it out just so I had more space. So I actually have now one huge block, two huge blocks, and then um, one for my stand as well. So that just, again, frees up more space. And again, you can tuck more things in the side. Having bags for all your tools and your base plates is also key because you're not fishing around for them for like 10 minutes when you're on set. So again, um, these little baggies or any sort of Ziploc bags are clutch. When you're about to miss a flight or you have to rush to the next terminal or gate and you gotta carry around this thing that's full of external batteries, a Ronin M, like tools and things inside of that, it gets pretty heavy. So it sucks lugging that thing around and, and pretty much running full speed through an airport with it. But I mean, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. It doesn't cost you anything extra or another check bag. External speakers. So this is a JBL clip speaker. Um, I personally love these things. They last relatively long usually i'll take two i don't know where my other one is but i'll usually take two of these on sets a little bit of a travel hack for this too if you can't fit this inside of your camera bag what you can do is and i do this all the time it looks kind of funny when you're walking around the airport with it but i take the little clip beauty of having these clips and i will clip it on the side of the backpack hangs like this so i'll, I'll clip both of them to the side of my backpack so they're not going anywhere but yeah it saves two of these in space which is amazing and it just clips on the side super simple you can actually clip it on the side of your pants you can clip it onto your belt buckle and that allows you for um, keeping the speaker close to you when you're doing performance scenes for music videos so keep that in mind this is kind of a given but uh gorilla pod if you're vlogging you're gonna want one of these obviously don't forget to pack this and keep in mind guys um link in the description i don't know why i'm pointing with the gorilla pod it's kind of weird link in description or check the description i'm gonna have this entire list of things um with links next to them so basically you can use my little travel checkout list when you guys are going to go travel so you don't have to make it yourselves or you guys actually have like a good base to kind of like start from. I always pack two iPhone charger blocks. I like to have two just so I can charge my phone in a wall outlet and then I can also charge one of the JBL speakers or anything or even my road mic, anything that requires a USB plug-in. You can have two things charging at once. External battery. 
there's gonna be times where you're not gonna be at the house or back at your Airbnb or whatever, and you might not be at a place where, or a location that you can charge a phone up. So always having a fully charged external battery is extremely key. These are lifesavers. Okay, so I guess this is more of like a travel hack than a music video travel hack. These are things that I personally bring on my travels with me, no matter if I'm going for music videos or just like whatever. But these are things I did want to touch on because um, it has helped me during my music video sets. To me, it's very relatable. Tylenol cold and sinus. There has been times where many times I've been traveling and I either get sick out where I'm shooting um, far away from home or I'm sick before my flight, but I have to fly out, right? I have the flight booked and everything. I always like to bring Advil with me, it never hurts. Zinc pills, usually you're running long nights on music videos and super running gun. If it's middle of the winter and you're in a cold climate or a cold environment, you wanna keep your immune system nice and healthy. One of the first things I do is take a zinc pill every single morning. Vitamin C, again, just healthy, good for your immune system, good for you. Um, Last thing you wanna do is get sick while you're out shooting. I get freaking dry ass hands when in the winter, so I always pack lotion, never hurts. I always moisturize my face and my hands all the time, so moisturizer, pack it. I have these pills that I got from the supplement shop, a uh, local supplement shop here at Supplement World, it's called, but um, they carry these vitamins. They're multivitamins called Vitabolic. They say that they reduce stress and cortisol levels. I'd rather have a placebo than no placebo effect, so I mean, do they really reduce stress? I don't know. Most people do stay at Airbnbs. I wouldn't rely on, a, uh, this is just me maybe being like overly cautious, but I wouldn't rely on them a having shampoo and conditioner or body wash at their airbnb and two even if they do and it's like half used i think it's like kind of weird like using somebody else's like shampoo and stuff like i don't know what if some like other guests that was staying the night before like did some like weird shit to it i'll bring body wash with me and then um these little head and shoulders containers you can buy at like shoppers any sort of drugstore walmart they're like two bucks a pop and these are great for traveling now i'm a very light sleeper so like like anything like that can wake me up at night. I actually pack earplugs. There's been times where I've actually stayed at artist houses and their studio space is like literally right next to the, to the bedroom that I'm sleeping in. So all I hear is just like bass and rapping all night long, like till like four or five in the morning after like a 15 hour day of shooting. And I'm like trying to sleep because we got to be up early in the morning but I can't because I'm such a light sleeper. So I started actually packing earplugs. Man, these things are amazing. You just scrunch them up, toss them in your ear, and I'm out like a light. So um, yeah, earplugs are like hella clutch. These are external light batteries for my Draycast lights. So I believe they're Sony mount batteries or something, but again, I will jam pack these inside of my Ronin case. So I'll just like play Tetris pretty much and get as many of these little things inside of my Ronin case as possible. You never know how long you're gonna have a, uh, an external light running for in an environment that doesn't have a wall plug-in. I bring pre-workout with me. I personally have a Lonnie New. I really like it. It's about 200 milligrams of caffeine. It's about two cups of coffee's worth. If you're, again, really running gun there's and you don't have like uh, any PAs on set that can run you a coffee or there's no caffeine available nearby or you don't have time, um, this is awesome to have. I personally like pre-workout. It kicks in really quick, gives you that caffeine buzz right away. If you're not caffeine tolerant, do not take pre-workout. Um, the stuff can hit you pretty hard. I know for some people it hits them pretty hard. So, um, but for me, I take it every day before I go to the gym. So it's just kind of like a whatever thing for me. I'll usually scoop in half if I'm feeling super tired. Shout out to my girlfriend. She actually came up with this idea for me because I never thought of doing this and I don't know why. But every time I'll go to shoot a music video, there was at least one of the days that we were shooting out of town, wherever I was out of town. And there was like, we wouldn't eat breakfast. Like there was no time to eat breakfast because you know, we'd want to have extra sleep because we were up late the night before. So we'd sleep in and then we'd have to go straight to the first location. And the next thing you know, we've been shooting for 15 hours and it's like one in the morning and we can't find a McDonald's close by. So what I actually started doing and my girlfriend Told me to start doing this because she actually does this when she travels is uh, pack snacks so honestly granola bars are like super clutch so I got these ones from like a save on foods it's not a meal replacement but you know it's at least gonna help you get through your day 
just because yes yeah, long hours shooting music videos sometimes as you guys know just as well as I do all right guys so that pretty much wraps it for my music video travel necessities video um, I hope you guys liked it it was a little different on the channel I hope you guys picked up some travel tips and tricks for when you guys are getting booked to do some music videos outside of your city or province or countries I hope you guys like the new backdrop right behind me We've got all the camera lenses here and a drone I think on this side but looks pretty badass with all RGB lights pretty stoked with how it came out and I think this is like a lot better than anything I've ever done before on the channel. It's cool to have a YouTube studio at my disposal to create some content for you guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys on the next video. Peace.